One of the main hospitals in southern Gaza is now empty after Israeli troops seized the Rafah border crossing. Patients and medical workers fled Abu Yusuf al Najjar Hospital in Rafah, fearing Israeli strikes. The hospital was one of the few medical facilities treating patients wounded during Israeli attacks in the city. Let's get an update on the situation on the ground now and speak to Al Jazeera's Hani Mahmoud, who's in Deir al Bala, that's in central Gaza. Hani, many people from different areas of Rafah, not just the east where the evacuation order was issued, are fleeing Rafah to head to the central areas, including Deir al Bala, where you are. Can you tell us what the situation is like there? Yes, well, right now, even for people who are already evacuated and are still on the road to Deir al-Balah city, they are moving with a shattered sense of safety as Deir al-Balah, again, is not largely safe. There, if, every once in a while, we hear this constant artillery shelling and loud explosion at the eastern part of the city. We are located right now at Al-Aqsa Hospital. That's at the western part of Deir al-Balah city. That's the western side of Salah al-Din Road. The city comes in between, is, is, is separated by Salah al-Din Road to the east eastern side and the western side but ongoing artillery shelling is causing is sort of of concern and panic and what seems to be more of an expansion of the uh, of the military operations by the Israeli military as of Rafah city the confirmed reports that we're getting right now is the the intense bombing campaign is expanding outside the eastern part of the city to include right now the older residential towers at the central part of Rafah so far we have confirmed reports of three residential towers that have been directly targeted by the artillery shelling and airstrikes. Those are at the central part of Rafah city, just forcing more people into further internal displacement. Within the past 24 hours, alone in Rafah city, atrocities against families and evacuees and displaced individuals. Uh, we're looking at 30 Five people have been killed, and the majority women and its children, mm. uh, and elderly inside the residential homes or on the road trying to flee. The moms, 129 critically injured, all it transferred to field hospitals at the western part or inside the Kuwaiti hospital. Right. And with Abu Yusuf Najjar Hospital non-operation right now, out of service, is increasing the pressure on these field hospitals and a smaller site facility, the Kuwaiti hospital. So th there's no let up in the Israeli bombing across the Gaza Strip. Aid agencies, honey, are warning that the humanitarian situation is only going to get worse in light of these latest developments. And the Israelis have been preventing the entry of aid through Rafah, which have taken control of. But they claim that they've reopened the Karim Abu Salim crossing. Has any aid gotten through to that land crossing? Well, already the situations in terms of the humanitarian aid and humanitarian situations in general are getting quite difficult right now with the closure of Rafah crossing that represent the artery of humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip, but complete closure and it not only threaten the expansion and uh, of starvation in in overcrowded southern part of the of the of the, of the strip but also it cut off the uh, the supply of a fuel to health facilities uh, across uh, Rafah city right now with this full closure there's only a, a small amount of a fuel available to run power generators at the Kuwaiti hospital as well as the field hospital to the western part of the city for the past months they relied on the ongoing supply that was not even not not was not not was not not constant, mm. but it was disconnected somehow. The operated, but right now with the full closure, it seems that they're going to run out of the fuel that keeps these hospital operate. This is one aspect of how humanitarian situations is going uh, are getting much worse by the hour right now. Now the reopening of Karma Abu Salim, as stated by the Israeli military, is is providing the strip right now with a trickle amount of aid because when we look at the amount that has been allowed since the uh, the announcement that it has reopened, it's only a little bit of what needed right now with the expansion of the carnage across the strip. And it only opened because of the pressure uh, placed by the U.S. administration and uh, the American President Joe Biden on the Israeli government. It, it, it's largely perceived as a way to absorb the pressure Right. by the American administration on the Israeli government. Hani, thank you very much for that. That's Al Jazeera's Hani Mahmoud reporting there live from Deir al Bala in central Gaza. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.